worried. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Can't complete the game. Yes, man. Unless we do. You can count on me. No, you're not. Thanks for hearing no, me out. No, I, I can't. It. You're not a Can I creator. ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you Where? worried that the Council might be protecting Sarah? Her eyes went moldy. I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Hmm. Possible. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Please. Well, Maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. Kill him! In my opinion, Zaren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. Why would they? If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Agreed. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. Huh. When I see him, he dies. Good. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. Good. You see, this is why I want to be a spectre. You can be. I don't have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Don't let me down. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Don't you mean yes, man? Ashley, that's the one. Commander. What? How are we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Oh, cool. You mean the Rachni, right? Yeah. They were dangerous skippers. I'm not a skipper. That two thousand years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. Oh, good. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. Yeah, so shut up. If you haven't talked to Dr. Tassoni, you have. probably should. She just lost her mom. That has to hurt. Well, she seemed fine. Just saying, Skipper. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Two on one. Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Not really. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. That'd be super stupid. Good thing I have my rabbit's foot. What? It should counteract all the negative waves. What? Just don't wave it around, Skipper. What? Rex might be hungry. <laughs> it's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. You could eat me. Oh. He always marks it. Out. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Why celebrate? Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. So it was Christmas. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Well, shut up and stop don't it. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. No, I don't. My commanders always find out. I mean... It's not in my files or something? You have talked about them, but, you know, I wasn't listening. Spit it out! Are you playing games As with me? Play. I don't always play games, sir. Sir? I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Ah. Uh... Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Probably. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty in a backwater agriculture. Did you say Garrus? It's a special kind of thick headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. Oh, what an idiot. I'm not going to let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger! <laughs> oh, whatever. I, I don't care. Should I do that? No. That's why you dislike aliens. Is this why you're always going on about the council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, Shut and up. so can I. I'm entitled. No, you're not. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're valuable. You're tough and decisive. I value those qualities. Just consider me a fire and forget missile. Yeah, I will. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Mm, yeah, yeah, sorry, um, bye. Dismissed. I just wasn't Dave. listening, that's all. I was checking my emails yeah. on my iPod. No, I'm not trying to show off that I have an iPod, I'm just talking. Shepard. What? So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? Well, what? Don't bring this back up. I'm a fire. It's what I do. So? Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? Sex. What the hell do you want me to do about God, it, Shepard? All right, calm down. Remind I'm me tired of someone. I'm sticking my ass on the line oh. and getting nothing for it. Stick your ass on something else. What? Don't blame you. So you decided to go your own way. That's not. I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. Oh, shine. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. You will be someday. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. I suppose. You ever think about helping your people? No. I try not to. Well, you just have, haven't you? But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. 
I'm always running into them. You should stop that. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. Might knock them over. But that's just part of the job. You're fat. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Whatever. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. I said so long. Don't just say my name as if that means goodbye in your language. Gosh. Hi. Something I can do for you, Commander. Not really. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Eyes. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. What's going on? Why are you so cheerful? I'm sleeping much better now. Oh, good for you. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. It's not. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Listen Shepard. Listen to that. First we stop Saren. Whoa. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Good. I should go. See you later. No, you hopefully won't. Because I'm not coming back. Well, I probably am, though. Right, that's enough talking for me. Sorry for those of you who don't like the talking, but it has to be done. What other emails have we got while I'm here and while we're on an elevator that doesn't take forever, actually? Oh! Mmm! Oi! Supposed to load in the elevator, not on the stairs. I might trip and fall in my moment of unable to moveness. Surprised I didn't run out of breath there. Right, now then. Now then. Quick save. Let's find out where Garrus' thing is. Uh, Herschel system, the Kepler Verge. Good what? timing, Commander. Oh, we got a transmission God. coming in from the Citadel. Piss off. Top priority clearance. Patch it through. I'll take it in the comm room. Oh! Salute! Salute! Mmm. <laughs> you just spoke to me a minute ago. Can you tell me then? Commander ah. Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Eyes. Now you're helping me? You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? You get something out of it. The Council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. Oh. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Oh. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest Let's information. Let's get on with it. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Go ahead. I'm listening. Obviously. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. And? What did they find? Nothing. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. Useless twats. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Oh. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Obviously. Considering your interest in Saren, I'm not interested. we thought you might want to investigate well, this. Here's a Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Understood. I'll look into it. Maybe. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. You already have. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good oh luck, no. Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Oh no, I forgot about Vermeer. The land where... Oh no, you'll see. I'll probably forget to bring it up. Oh no, I won't. I don't bloody know. Alright, that was interesting. <clears throat> As the Citadel Council always are. God. Right. Go away, Neveria. Never want to see you again. Oh, there's Vermeer. So where's the Kepler Verge? Oh, where is it? Where is there? And it's in Herschel. Hershey's. I might have said it when I went there for... Oi! I'm in space! All your snow effects make the frame rate drop to the size of a pea. As in 20. Oh, it's 30 again. Oh god! Oh, oh, how did we get here already? We just left the planet. We haven't even been to space yet. Alright. There. Is that the blobby place? Yeah, Dr. R. Hart. As in, real Hart. Why? Oh, that loaded really quick. No, it's still loading, actually. Come on, Garrus, let's kick some A. 
Let's kick some A. Attack them from their flank. Oh, he's got nothing to say on this occasion. Reinforcements are in this place. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Get out of the way. You're blocking my camera. With your fat. No, not again. Why? Why have I got this gun out? I don't know. Oh, why have I got this gun out? I don't know. But it works, that's for sure. How did I know they're test subjects? Why does it show their name as test subjects when I don't know they're test subjects? For all I know, they are vegetables that were grown here and have come alive. Which they probably are. Area secure? That's nice to know. Thanks, Garrus. Why can't I... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's you. I don't know why I was crouching there. Garrus made me feel the need to crouch with my butt in the air. What? No. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing around here. Guess what? <laughs> that was fast. All targets down. What? They've been down for a while, you dude. I don't know if he's in here. Oh God. Thanks. Thank you for saving me from those things. It's all right. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. Let's kill him then. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Garrus. Are you sure it's him? Positive. Oh. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first. Oh. But we don't have the time. Moody, angry. You're crazy. He's crazy. Please, don't let him do this to me. Time to die, Doctor. This is my kill, Garrus. No, it isn't. You're all crazy! Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what? Never hesitate when you've got the enemy in your sights, Garrus. Point taken. What? Well, I guess we're done here. No. No. Right. This time, we're going to let Garrus do it, because he was all like, What was that, Shepard? You've angered me, and now I will never love you. We've also got to look in here. Just in case it kicks me out of the ship. Oh. Well, that wasn't very interesting, was it? Alright, Garrus. Can you make the choices, please, so that I don't mess up and displease you? Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah. What? Yeah. My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time. Yeah. You're crazy. He's crazy. Finish him. Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Do it, Garrus. Glad. Do it. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! Finally! But. Some action. Go on, Garrus, do it. That was. satisfying. Move out. Oh. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. Huh? I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. He's a happy boy. Salion's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red, but his work has ended here. Time to head back to Normandy. No, not yet. But I have to wonder, was that really him? Because he seemed like, what are you on about? No! <laughs> ah! Oh, you've ruined it. Oh! Oh. That was close as fudge nuts. I don't know how close fudge nuts are, but I don't want them anywhere near me. So they better not be too close. They are nuts covered in fudge. That actually sounds quite tasty. And I'm talking about nuts as in the food, not as in balls. Because I don't like them. What? What do you mean, what? What? Oh, I don't bloody. Alright, what are we doing with you? Shotguns, whatever. I don't know anymore. Fartade. Assault training, I guess. And I, I will have, um. I will have. I can never choose. 
I will just have some of that. No, I don't use pistols much. We'll have some shotgun and some combat armor. Right, let's get out of here.